Good morning, guys. Today I'm taking you through my winter morning routine. I'm so excited to be filming this video. Also, update I started sleeping with mouth tape on. If you're wondering what is on my mouth, TikTok convinced me. Don't ask. <laughs> but speaking of social media, one of the first things I do, unfortunately, is check my phone. I just want to see what everyone's up to. You know, I know it's not the healthiest thing to do to start your day, but it's the truth. It's what I do. So I'm just being honest. I wake up pretty easily to natural light. So I kind of just leave my blinds up a little bit and I tend to wake up between like eight or nine which is perfect for me then I have to make my bed because it is a scientific fact in my mind that whenever I make my bed I just have a better day so I try and do it as much as I can and then I'm just going out to the kitchen and I'm opening up a window just because my apartment gets a lot of sunlight which can kind of make it a little bit warm so I like to just open the window for a little bit of cool air we do live in Canada so there's lots of that and then it is time to make a coffee in my favorite cup I'm obsessed with this it's from Urban Outfitters. Good morning, guys. I woke up in the best mood today. I feel like I forgot how much I love filming videos like this. Just filming a morning routine gives me serotonin. I don't know why, but I love this. I think I kind of forgot that this is what got me into YouTube initially was like the aesthetic, like morning routine type vlogs. Like I feel like I haven't been doing that recently and I miss it. And I'm really realizing that this morning because I, I know I just started filming this video, but I'm already having a great time. I am drinking my coffee with my little circular cubes in my <laughs> shroom glass. I don't know why I've been obsessed with mushrooms recently. I just bought a mushroom pillow. Something about mushrooms is just, it's cool to me. You know, I don't, I don't take them, I don't eat them, but I like things shaped like them. <laughs> Mmm, it's really good actually. Normally I'm not a big at-home coffee person. Even when I had like an espresso machine, it just didn't hit the same as Starbucks for me, you know? There's just something about getting it from an actual cafe that tastes so much better, but this, this tastes pretty good. I just posted an Instagram story of my glass and I'm scared because the last time I posted this cup, everyone in my DMs told me it looked like a penis. I don't see it. Like, the head is not this big, guys. Let's be realistic. It doesn't look like this. This is a mushroom. Makes me sad when people hate on my shroom glass because it really makes me so happy. Okay, this is the fit for the day. The top is from Aloe and the bottoms are from Vitae Apparel. I can't lie, I'm typically more of a nighttime workout girl rather than a daytime workout girl, but I just feel like doing it in the morning will be more motivating for me. So I just think that if I can, if I can successfully make this a habit, it'll be better. But if I'm being honest, I hate working out. Normally, I am just a cardio girly, but today I have the whole gym to myself, so I'm like, maybe I should get a little bit adventurous. And I've been thinking about how like fat my ass would be if I actually worked out, because like my ass naturally is like plump, you know? But like if I worked out and had muscle bit, I know I could have a fat ass, so I'm like, maybe I gotta start doing it. So I think I'm gonna do it today just because no one's here, and I get shy when people are here. Okay, I'm thinking I'm gonna go for a 10. Wait, look, I think I'm heavier than this. I'm feeling crazy, so I got a 15. <laughs> Guys, welcome to my bathroom. Can we talk about my skin for a second? If you have been following me for a while, then you can tell just by looking at me that this is literally the best my skin has ever looked in my entire life. The fact that this is my skin with no makeup is insane to me. I've never, I've never experienced skin like this before. Like this was me not even four months ago. And that was normal. That was like what my skin looked like for the last five years of my life, I wanna say. Like my skin's not perfect right now. It's definitely not, especially when you get up close, you can kind of see I have like some blackheads and like I have some acne scarring, but this is crazy for me. Like this, 
My skin has never looked like this, ever. So I wanna show you guys what I've been doing differently because I really do credit it all to my skincare routine. That is the only thing that's changed. I'm not drinking more water. I didn't change my diet. Like, it is these products. I don't know what else to give credit to. This is the only thing that's different. So let me show you guys. Actually, the only thing I will say that I've also been better at is I don't sleep with my makeup on anymore, like, at all. Now that I've seen the change in my skin, I will not allow myself to go to sleep with makeup on. Whereas before, when I already had bad skin I was like who cares I'm just gonna sleep for the dawn I am too tired I'm too lazy blah 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 but now now that my skin's clearing up I do not want to go back to the old skin so the first thing I'm going in with is my Tatcha cleanser this is the rice wash I've also used this one by used to the people a lot I would say these are kind of interchangeable for me because I was using this for a while when my skin was really clearing up but I don't know I just kind of switched to this but I love both of these I feel my skin feels safe with both of them but I'm just gonna use this because I'm trying not to switch up my products too much and this is just what I've been reaching for recently I also used to use a different cleanser in the shower like I had one cleanser in the shower and one cleanser here but now I'm making sure that I just take this in the shower with me when I want to wash my face in the shower because I just don't want to switch up the products I feel like these are working for me and I don't want to do anything to mess it up now normally I do have like these reusable cotton pads that I've been using on my face however they are all dirty right now they need to go through the wash so I am just gonna use my hands a product that I haven't really been using but is very intriguing to me is this which is also from Tatcha it is the rice polish classic it's called but this is a powder I've used this twice and like it was kind of fun it didn't break me out or anything I don't know I'm very intrigued by that you basically mix it with water and it turns into a paste and you can use it on your skin I want to try that out a little bit more but that's not really a part of my routine the next thing that I'm using is the Paula's Choice this is the 2% BHA liquid exfoliant this change my skin. I credit like a lot of my skin change to this product specifically. Shout out to TikTok. Honestly, TikTok introduced me to this and then I looked at the reviews and I was immediately sold. I wasn't expecting to see as drastic results as I did though. Like, I swear to God, as soon as I started using this, my skin changed. I cannot recommend this product enough. I got Adeline to buy it. I got Alex to buy it. Everyone in my life, I'm like telling them that they need this. But the weird thing is I initially bought this because I thought it was going to help with like my pores and my blackheads which is kind of the only thing I feel like it didn't really help that much with it definitely like I don't break out anymore and my acne scarring has gone away a lot and my rosacea has gone away a lot anyways I use her twice a day I just put it in my hand like that you can use like a cotton pad but honestly I just I just put it in my hand rub it together and then put it on my face one thing I've learned from using this product though is that you need to wash your hands immediately after because if not it will peel the skin off of your hands like literally like you can like peel the skin off like it's kind of scary but yeah definitely definitely wash your hands immediately after it will also bleach like face cloths or like towels that you have so you need to be careful this is obviously a very strong product i feel like if it's like peeling skin off my hand and like bleaching things but i'm gonna keep using it because the results they speak for themselves and then the last thing I'm using is my Youth to the People moisturizer. This is a new product from them and I really like it. So I just scoop a little bit of that up with the back of my nail and put it all over my face. So I literally only have three products in my skincare routine right now. I'll also use like those pimple patches that you guys saw earlier or I'll use like some other acne treatments if I have a little breakout. But for the most part, this is all I use right now. Oh, and I guess I'll use like a face mask here and there too. But just for like my go-to everyday products, I stick to those like three products, those three steps. And this is what my skin is looking like. Okay, normally when I would do skincare routines with you guys, you guys can go back and watch old videos. My face was red and now, I don't know what it looks like on camera, but looking in the mirror, it is the same color as the rest of my body, which is just very exciting for me. Do you guys hear that simmer? Oh, that makes me so happy, that sound. I love that sound. For breakfast this morning, I have a smoothie. I am such a smoothie person. I swear to God, I'm always craving smoothies. Whenever I'm out with my friends, they'll be like, let's get boba, and I'm like, I kinda want a smoothie. I'm just, I'm a smoothie girl, so I love making myself a little smoothie, and then I just made myself some turkey bacon. I know it is quite a small breakfast, 
but I'm someone who likes to snack throughout the day, especially because I work from home and my fridge is literally right there. I end up eating like five to six times throughout the day, so I try and keep my meals a little bit smaller just so I'm not overeating. This is so good. I'm so happy with my breakfast this morning. Journaling is one of those things that everyone used to always tell me to do. And they're like, it'll make your life so much better. And like your mental health will be so much better and you'll be happier. And it was like, yeah, yeah, that helps with my mental health. Like, I'm not gonna do it though. <laughs> but then once you actually start doing it, you're like, wait a minute, why is it working? Why am I why am I feeling better? Why am I happier? Why is my mindset changing? For me, journaling is one of those things that actually works. It makes a really big difference for me. So I try and do it whenever I remember to. And one thing I like about the five minute journal is that you can put whatever date you want at the top, which like some journals are kind of like, they have the dates like written in, which I don't like that because I'm too inconsistent for that. I can't keep up with that. But when I can just kind of like pick it up and put it down whenever I want, I thought with that. So today's date is November 20th. I am thankful for my health, my mom, the ability to create my own life. What would make today great? Honestly, today's already great. I don't know what got into me today, but I just really feel so happy and fulfilled today. But you know, once we're done with this morning routine, I want to be continuing to be productive today, so I'm gonna write that down. I have some like really annoying, tedious tasks that I have to do after this that I'm not looking forward to, but you have to do them. Part of being an adult. I might FaceTime the guy I'm talking to. That would make today great, so I'm gonna write that down. I think going out for a walk today would be nice. It is a little bit cold out, but it's only gonna get colder from here. So I'm gonna write, go for a walk. Even if it's just a little one, I think that would be fun. Daily affirmations. I think I doubt myself a lot, so I'm gonna tell myself that I'm talented. Some people might not agree, but I'm just gonna write it down. Doesn't hurt to tell myself that. And I'm gonna write that I am growing every day. And that is it. Very simple. And I feel like reflecting on what you want out of your day, reflecting on what you're thankful for, affirmations, it just, it helps put you in a better headspace, you know? But anyways, I am going to continue to eat and probably scroll on my phone for a little bit. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the makeup routine. So I am going in with the glowiest sunscreen I've ever owned. This stuff is amazing and it looks amazing under my makeup. And then I'm going in with my concealer. I've used this one for years. I've tried other ones. This one I just always come back to. It is my baby. It covers everything and the color just, you know, it lights up my face a little bit. So I put that on all of my red or, you know, purpley areas on my face. Then this is new. I started using the Fenty foundation. I've been like kind of cycling through a couple different foundations. I do really like this one so you know would recommend this this I've been trying to get my hands on for so long it is the pinkasm blush this looks amazing I love it I love to kind of blend out the edges with my fingers first and then I'll go in with my beauty blender I add quite a bit because I really like a blushed look then I'm also using their contour wand I do like this I think I might like the rare beauty um, contour stick a little bit more but this is what I have currently and I do like it a lot so I just you know do the cheekbones the nose and then I end up doing my jawline because my jawline's probably Probably one of my biggest insecurities so I always have to do a little bit of contouring there I go in with some powder as well but like very lightly I don't add a lot because I kind of like to touch it up throughout the day so I don't want to be adding 50 pounds of powder on my face then my eyebrows I only fill in the edges because my eyebrows are very uneven and then I go in with my brow gel now I learned this from Selena Gomez makeup artist that you brush the brows down first and then you brush it up and it holds it into place perfectly so I've been doing that and it really has made a difference love that tip honestly <laughs> i don't really have a go-to lipstick but today i decided to use this nova beauty lipstick which their lipsticks are kind of good i didn't know what to expect but they're pretty good i also use the highlighter in adeline's palette because it is just so perfect you can build it up or you can have it be really natural like i'm doing today and for lashes i will either do half lashes which is like new for me or i'll just do mascara which is what i decided to do today because i was feeling lazy my hair is so easy though i literally curled it last night so i just this is all i do i just touch it and it's like kind of good to go for the day we love it is now time to pick out my outfit for today which lately this has been a stressful time for me i did just switch out all of my summer clothes with my winter clothes because i just don't have enough room in my closet for all of it so i have some summer clothes in storage right now my winter clothes just came out so i have like some new sweaters that are like i could wear 
but I don't know I really prioritize comfort over everything when it comes to my outfits especially I work at home like I don't know who I'm trying to impress but I just like dressing cute sometimes so I want to do something kind of cute because I think I will go out today so I will be seen by people I have like an idea a kind of of what I want to try on I don't know if I'll like it once it's actually on but we're, we're just gonna we're gonna test it out so I have this and then I think this could potentially be cute just having the collar peek out of this and then this like cute little beige top I'm thinking this with my green pants I've been wearing these so much recently but I don't care I'm just obsessed I want pants like this and like a bunch of different colors I think I want these in like maybe a rusty orange color a red color a different tone of green like I just I need these pants I'm obsessed with them they're so comfy and they're really cute so I'm gonna try this on okay never mind I hate this I think this needs to go but this on its own might be kind of cute I feel like this is like very casual very cute and then if I go out I can just throw on a jacket so I think this without the sweater is gonna be the fit for today wait a minute I just realized that the green from this might look good with this I'm just gonna try throwing this on as an option I don't know why but I love flannels on everyone else I feel like they don't look good on me so I'm I'm not like super optimistic about this but but we're just we're gonna entertain it as an option okay now now it's a little it's a little too like ugh, baggy I have no shape so I think I'm we're just gonna we're gonna stick with this this is the best option also notice how I just threw that on the ground that is why my closet is starting to get messy do you see this pile it's not supposed to be there I'm supposed to put it back but I'm not gonna do that <laughs> I just poured myself another coffee because this is a small cup I need it too but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video I'm gonna go start my day thank you for watching I love you subscribe follow me on Instagram TikTok all of the things and I'll see you next time with a brand new video bye